everyone. Welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. You are here for idea number seven in my Christmas in July series for 2020. And my seventh idea is going to be ornaments made out of clothespins. And this is a Dollar Tree DIY. So what you need is a package of the small clothespins from the Dollar Tree and a package of the large ones. The large ones are found in the laundry aisle. Um, a laundry bath aisle where they have like the sponges and that kind of thing and all the like over the door hooks these are found in the craft section they're part of crafter square and then you're also going to need some wood glue which i also picked up at the dollar tree so the first thing you need to do is open these up and i'm going to do that off camera because they're very noisy okay so you need to take all of your clothes pins apart just take the little metal pieces off save those because I have an idea for those as well might as well use every little bit right <laughs> so go ahead and take the little metal pieces off and go ahead and do the whole whole thing you're gonna need eight large clothes pins and I think I haven't made the little one yet but I think eight on that as well So the first thing you're going to do is glue the flat sides of the clothespins together. Try to match up that square because it's going to show. And just wood glue is plenty for this. Okay, and then just set it aside. all glued together and I'll come back and show you what we're going to do with them. I got all the clothespins uh, glued together and when I I was a couple of clothespins short so I went to look for some more and I found these tiny little ones from the Dollar Tree so I went ahead and glued them together as well. So I have all of these that I can make into ornaments and I did glue them together with the wood glue like you saw but um, for this next part because I want it to grab a lot faster I'm going to be using the Sherbonder wood glue sticks they're called wood sticks and uh, you can get these at Hobby Lobby they're in the woodworking aisle they're not with the regular hot glue they used to be but when I went today they were on the woodworking aisle so I went ahead and bought just a little glue gun to use just for wood glue and I even marked wood glue on the back of it these ready to go and I'm going to use hot glue with the wood glue sticks and then I've got some of these little circles they came from the bag of wood that uh, I got at Walmart this big bag is I've been using it for all sorts of things so this is going to cover the centers so the first thing you need to do and I'm going to start with the big ones because it's easier to see is you're going to glue two of them end to end where the flat spot is and, and if they aren't smooth enough and you think you need to sand them then go right ahead and do that um, just hold it on a piece of sandpaper and move it back and forth and that'll sand the end off just open up those pores I've got a big blob of glue on this one so that'll help get that off first two go end to end so I've got this little Sherbonder glue gun come on it's the first time I've used it so it hasn't been doesn't have glue all the way up to its nozzle yet and I'm going to stick these together I've got this bubble in my mat for some reason I'm not quite sure why so I'm going to work over here <laughs> and then the next one's going to go see where that makes kind of a V it's going to get stuck right up in there so then that goes in there we're just making a, a cross right now like plus sign okay perfect and then you're going to glue the other four in this way okay 
This is one way of doing it. There's another way, and I will show you that in a second. So let's go ahead and glue these in. There's one way to do it, and then we'll have to put a hanger on it. And then I was kind of toying with another idea. And I was, ooh, that one's not right. I was just wondering if we just glued their flat parts together. So if you do it like this, you'll get a little hole in the middle. Otherwise you can scoot it up and then it's not quite as symmetrical, but it depends on how you want to do it. Okay. If you want the little hole in the middle or if you want the hole closed. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do one so we can compare. So I'm just gluing the flat sides together. I'm not going to the the very end I'm going to this flat side this wood glue smells funky <laughs> all right then I have to put glue on both of this side so see how this is leaving a little gap that's not straight Okay, and then this can go up. So here's the difference. Do you like that center being symmetrical? Or do you not care and it's a little more ice crystal looking this way? So you decide which way you like best. Then I thought it would be fun to kind of layer them up. So if we make a small... be kind of fun to glue one on top of the other and give it some dimension. Let's glue together this teeny weeny little one. All right, these are going to be a little bit harder to get symmetrical because they are so tiny and they there's not a lot of gluing surface and they're not um, they're not all cut exactly as precisely as the bigger ones are so keep that in mind <laughs> There's the little guy, and I think this would be a cute ornament just on its own, just this little teeny one. All right, so we have this one stacked, and we could stack this one on as well, and then put a little tiny circle in the middle. And what I think I would do is stain them with whatever color and do like three shades, and I think that would look really cool. That's what we're working on there. Now, let me show you what we should do for stain. Let's use this one that's symmetrical. And I was thinking you could either um, 
you could take them outside and spray paint them. You could leave them natural and just clear coat them. Or you could add a little bit of blue. So what I'm going to do is squirt some of this into my paint palette. And I'm going to add some water. Just to make it thinned out. Um, we don't want it to be thick and heavy. So I'm just going to stir this into the water. And right now it's just like a milky blue. Maybe a little more paint in there would be good. There was more water in that cup than I thought. <laughs> Oh, the color I'm using is Apple Barrel Multi-Surface. It's called Summer Sky. And I got it at Walmart. I like the multi-surface paints because you can paint on just about anything. And you don't have to buy repetitive colors and different styles of paint. You just kind of treat it differently a little bit. I'm going to start with the biggest one. And I'm just going to brush this on. Don't forget to do the back side on the big one because that's going to show. Well, it's going to show on all of them, so don't forget to do that. This is kind of taking on a gray blue effect. I don't know that you can see that real well. And some of the clothespins have taken the color on better than others, and that's okay, I think. If you're looking for a rustic look, that's what you're going to get. The next one, I'm going to take that same paint I just used and add some white. And I'm going to take and brush that on here. And if you want, in between you can dry with the heat gun. Now if you look at this on top of this one, you're getting a little differenti differentiation in color. And now this last little guy. Oh, I forgot to add. The last guy, you add a little bit more white. And by the time you get to this last one, your paint's getting thicker as well because you're getting more paint and less water. But the color is getting lighter. So brush that on. And then we need to draw or to paint the little piece in the middle. And for that, I'm just going to put just a drop on my paintbrush and paint over it. And it's going to be full color. There'll be a little bit of paint or water left in my brush, and that's fine. Okay, so that's going to be the center. Okay, now these will need to dry completely before you try to glue the layers together. So I'm going to give them some drying time and then we'll come back and we'll put one together and show you what it's going to be. So I've got these all dried out now. So now I'm going to, still using wood glue, I'm going to put some glue just in the middle I think is all it really needs. And then I'm going to offset the prongs so that they go in between the arms of the other one. Hope that makes sense. And then I'm going to do the same with this one and put it in between. Now as I was gluing all of my little ones together, they are definitely the weakest of the batch 
because they're just so little and there's just not not a lot of gluing surface so they are a little bit small and then just a bit of glue in the middle and the center okay now you could put a jewel on there you could glitter this up you could do it however you wanted to do and it would look beautiful all right now i'm going to get some jute just going to tie a knot in it this jute is about six inches long total fold it in half and then i just tie a knot down in the end pull it down and pull it tight i'm going to flip this over and I'm going to get out one of my finger protectors because I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and I'm just going ahead with the, the wood glue because I have it out and I'm just going to push it in to the glue and then come back over the top with just a little more to make sure that that's sealed down okay let that harden. And you have a snowflake. Let's glue together one of the natural ones. So I'm going to alternate the arms. This is the one I put together, the very first one I did. It doesn't let you alternate the arms quite as well. natural and you could um, you could dry brush these you could paint them up however you'd like spritz them with a glitter spray paint that would be pretty depends on what your decor is and what kind of look you're going for now what I would do before I glue all of mine together is I would make up all of these loops of jute into little hooks and have them ready to go a little bit of wood glue finger protector make sure that knot gets down in the glue press it in and then put a little more glue over the top of it make sure to seal it on there okay oh no glad that happened now not in my craft sale I went through the rest of the snowflakes and that was the only one that was loose and breaking off so I think I just didn't get enough glue on it but you're gluing them together in layers as well as each individual layer so they stick together really well one. All right, there you have it. My clothespin snowflake ornaments, uh, Christmas in July idea number seven. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, please. That helps my channel to grow. And let me know what you're thinking of this project in the comments section below. Do you like it natural or do you like it painted? And if you were to paint these, which color would you paint them? Would you go with the blue scheme or the white scheme? I think I'm just going to spray acrylic them and let them be. All right. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.